um, it is 57 degrees outside. It is just the right temperature for a little outdoor cooking. Hey guys, uh, Caver here. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, start our little campfire and, and do some cooking this evening. So, uh, so here we go. Okay, guys. While my handsome husband is outside building a fire and getting the tripod and everything ready for some outdoor cooking. I'm gonna be prepping the chili inside. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna have to run up to the store, y'all. Crap. Hopefully you saw that little time-lapse video and that is how you start a fire with flint and steel. So uh, burning good. Ain't that right, Parker? I'm headed to our little local grocery slash gas station. Um, I was getting ready to prep for the chili. Realized that I only have three cans of chili beans. Me and my husband are going to be making three bean chili for you guys over our new fire pit with our new Dutch oven and our new tripod. So really excited. sound of bacon grease. Hey there, uh, just a disclaimer, uh, if anybody watches this, um, this is the first time we've ever tried to do this cook on an open fire with a Dutch oven so uh, excuse us if you're a, if you're a pro at it um, probably not watching this anyway um, here's what we got so far let me show you got the fire set up it's going pretty good it's looking nice um, I guess the rest of this video I'm turning it over to the person that uh, needs to do the rest of this anyway because it's her channel Tangy the caver's wife uh, back to you so we're back from the store and my husband just said that the um that the pot is almost ready to start cooking so i gotta i gotta hurry okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut up a sweet onion and i'm also gonna move y'all down here where y'all can see what i'm doing okay so we're gonna get started on prepping for our chili the first thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna chop this sweet onion all right so we're just gonna do kind of a chunky dice Nothing spectacular. It's making my eyes water. Okay, so I'm just moving this over here into this little doodad. And now we are done with that. I'm gonna put a lid on it so it'll quit burning my eyes. Now we're gonna start working on our canned stuff. Nobody told me my apron was on backwards. Thanks a lot, guys too funny so what he's gonna do is he's gonna cook the onion and the meat first once that has browned then he's gonna dump all this in so that's three cans of mild chili beans okay so um that was three cans of chili beans and we're gonna i didn't drain it because we like to use the sauce that comes in it however Kidney bean canning liquid and black bean canning liquid is very much less desirable. So I'm gonna dump these out here, let them drain. I'm gonna take them over to the sink and give these a good rinse. All right, now that was two 15 ounce cans of black beans. Now 
we're gonna add one can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. <clears throat> okay, so this is, uh, I've got two cans of tomato sauce. Okay, so now the spices. Oh, this is sea salt. So, I don't know, it's about a, a teaspoon. I'll do a couple of tablespoons of onion powder, and garlic powder, that probably a heaping tablespoon. We're pretty much just doing like a tablespoon of everything. Chili powder, cumin, some oregano, not too much oregano, black pepper. All right, I'm gonna give this a stir, give it a taste and see if we need to add any more. I don't think it needs anything really, it's perfect. Ready? Ready. Ooh, wee, that looks good. All right, here come the beans and tomato sauce, the diced tomatoes and peppers, and all the chili seasoning. Get down and get all that deer meat up here in it. There we go. wash it up and oh start. yeah we'll need that let's go back inside wash up and then the next time we come back out we'll probably be dishing it up i bet that's really heavy Ooh, what you looking for that looks delicious One of the reasons why my man is cool is because when he was in college he took uh a, was it a two weeks revival it was a three week. Three week. He knows a lot of stuff. You guys don't know this, but he's kind of a big deal. No. Yeah, you no. are. Oh yeah, you are. Oh, only oh. underground. <laughs> Above ground too. You're you're a pretty big deal to me. Aww. He is. He's drooling. He's drooling. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He smells it, dummy. He does. He knows he knows what's going on. He knows I what's up. Not... This is the best thing we have done outside besides fruit trees and gardening. Thinking, Just saying. I'm getting I'm gonna go get a glass of milk. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that looks perfect. Good. It is a darn shame that no one in my family, none of us play the guitar. If only my brother were here. I play piano, but that's just really kind of cumbersome to have to deal with. We'll just sing some Garth Brooks acapella. Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots. <laughs>